Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Q from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you so much to those that subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I am doing a voiceover today because why did I do a voiceover? I can't remember. I did something wrong on this particular video, so I've got to kind of try and remember it. I'm doing um, custom colours. Those are colours that I made up myself, so feel free to screenshot and, um, yeah, take a screenshot. <laughs> yeah, that was the little finger movement, the screenshot, if you want to know the custom colours or metallics that I used to make. I made um, with gold and silver metallics, so they're really, really beautiful. Uh, this is just the white. I've been trying to perfect a pouring medium that's given me, in a couple of particular pours, fantastic, just unbelievable cells lacing, just really pretty. But I haven't disclosed it at this point in time for the simple reason, because I haven't perfected it yet. It's worked sometimes and not others. Um, so I'm trying to work out what it is that I'm doing or is it a certain paints that I can use it with that work really well. So I haven't wanted to disclose it. I mean, it's something very simple, no silicone added. So it's something very simple and it's just, I've, I've used it many times before, but it's obviously the ratios that I did work out particularly well. So um, everything is in the description box underneath what I normally would do with my um, paint and pouring medium but yes in the very near future when I think that I may have achieved what I want to achieve with the ratios on this particular pouring medium I will absolutely share with you all for absolutely free nothing no charge just please subscribe to my channel that's all I ask uh, so here we go. We've got this gorgeous gold here, which is the, um, it's, it is the Montmartre gold. And I think this one is just the gold gold. I don't think I've added anything to this. And this is a nice big 40 centimeter round canvas. Uh, this is the, another one of the custom colors that I made. And yeah, I'm showing you there. It was, um, uh, it's, I'm trying to think now. I've got the custom colours made and I've done a separate video which I will attach in the comments below the link to the video where I made these particular colours. But that turned out like a really dark bronzy reddy brown. It was lovely because it had red added to the gold and I can't remember what are the colours. This was the gold with burnt sienna in it and that's lovely too. Oh, that's a really nice colour, so I'm just doing these colours through the centre of this particular um, canvas. Kind of, I suppose, I'm doing it like the Kathleen Osmore style. If you haven't seen Kathleen Osmore from Cos Creations, please do so. She does some lovely, lovely work. Um, I mean, we've all done swipes like these, and I've done them for the last couple of years but Kathleen sort of really has got a particular style that of doing her swipes and that is quite beautiful all in itself so hop over and have a look at Kathleen from Cos Creations but yeah normally I would like spread everything all over now that's spread everything all over the canvas which I'm getting carried away here because I only wanted to do a small band but as I do I always want to fill the whole canvas up and go for it. So that was the burnt umber and I think I made a mistake of adding that because it will send the piece quite dark whereas those golds and bronzes, if I'd kept more to those colour, they come out more caramelly and delicious. So Jilly has now got a cut up small plastic file divider so it's the sort of any kind of soft plastic with a little bit of weight in it that this one's a file divide that you get from office stationery stores or kind of office work supplies and I just find them the best little tool 
because you can keep washing them and reusing them many, many times. And this one, um, yeah, just cut into different pieces. And what's she doing there? Oh, I obviously think, no, that's too dark. I don't like it. So I'm going back over with it with my map made up, pre-made up white. See, that would have been so much nicer if I'd have stuck to the lighter colours, but you can always keep working with it. I don't think there's a rule for how many times you can, can or cannot continue to swipe. Sometimes you have to watch because the swipe can send paints muddy if you do it too many times. So you guys, I hope you're all having fun with your pouring escapades or even if you're just watching pourers on YouTube, then it definitely gives you some um, entertainment, light entertainment and art therapy because I definitely find myself that art is such a good, cheap therapy. Um, when you're in your art room on your own, it's your rules, your way. Are you liking this so far or you think it's a little bit, I think it's a bit too dark, but lots of people like the dark moody ones. The cells that are popping up in that are absolutely gorgeous lace and I'm just hoping that I do give you a close up at the very end to see how lovely they are. They're just super duper, super duper. Yeah, just wiping off your swipe tool in between each swipe so you don't send the paints muddy. This is a very good way as well to do a landscape, an abstract landscape. You know, you um, looking at it, you can see that the different layers of the, whether it's a mountainous or ocean, earth and then sky, it's a very easy way of doing an abstract, abstract landscape is by these type of swipes. Ooh, what you gonna do? No, 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 Julie, don't do that. Oh, oh well. It's done. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bless, bless me. <laughs> mm. Okay, you go and sneeze while you're out in public now and everybody takes a wide berth around you and moves away from you pretty quick. And you go, it's just an allergy, I'm not sick, it's just allergy. It's springtime here in um, Australia and all of my pollens are out around me, all the wattles and bottle brushes are all out at the moment. So I um, don't suffer too heavy with allergies, but if I'm gonna sneeze any time of the year, it is definitely now. That is quite pretty up close. No, Jilly, get away, thank you. <laughs> get away with that noodling wand. Get away. Yes, I think I decided otherwise. Oh, what has she got now? No, 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 no. That's my little swipey tool that I made. And there's another video out of that. It sort of does give nice leafy effects, but I did not like it in this particular swipe. So good for other things, but this is what you can do. You can just try things. Like you could let that dry and then slightly add something for depth in there and perspective of what are you trying now? Oh, I'm doing these little man-made cells, which can be quite cute and interesting. But I've obviously in my mad art lab mode and wanted to add a little bit more to this painting and it would have been quite adequate, I believe, left as it is right now. <laughs> but the crazy explorer in me, I'm about Dora the explorer, it should be, what can I think of? Jilly the, uh, Jilly, Jilly something. Jilly, Jilly willing to try, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it should be Jilly, Jilly say goodbye. Oh.
I'm gonna keep going with this, aren't I? We could talk about the weather or something. It's been pretty good here. We've had no rain and we kind of need a little bit of rain. And there you are in the US and UK going into your winters. Well, I think you're in fall or autumn. So, um, which is a nice time of year, I believe in either. Well, I definitely know it's, it's quite nice in the UK in autumn too, but in um, the US, beautiful as well. It's quite good don't mind that one yeah I like that because when it yeah thumbs up Julie uh, had in a bit of heat because actually after it's dried off a bit those cells start to um, stretch out a bit and look a, a bit more natural but those oh, I hope I'll give you some close-ups here because those cells are super duper really super duper but look at that it looks almost like you're looking over kind of water and desert. I know it's not got actual blue there, but it's definitely got the earthy kind of layers to it. This kind of thing is quite easy to sell as well because lots of, what are you doing, Jilly? Oh, she don't like the, she doesn't like the cells. And oh, now I'm covering over that bit where I did the little swipe with it. Oh, that's okay, Julie. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, gosh. God, I know what you guys are thinking there. She drives you mad, hey? She just keeps pushing it, pushing it. <sighs> what are you doing now? Stop, stop, stop. You know, this person just does not know when to stop. I want to keep going, pushing the boundaries keep going and I really needn't obviously <laughs> oh well keep you all on your toes keep you all on the toes I think I must do some of these voiceovers more often because I can see my own failings in that I just push things too hard sometimes with your you kind of your obsession for getting something that you're really really happy with so I do give you some close-ups of those gorgeous cells. So hopefully when I try and get this pouring medium to be consistent, because that's the problem, it hasn't been consistent. It doesn't work as well every single time, but um, you will all be the first to know. So my close-ups are coming and I want to thank you guys for joining me. Look at those cells, looky, looky, looky. Um, thank you so much for joining me and there'll be another video tomorrow morning because I do a video every single day for you guys um, and I hope you enjoy them and it gives you a bit of light entertainment and you either get out there and get into your art expade, escapade yourself and enjoy or you just watch others. We all appreciate you on YouTube that watch comment and subscribe it's what um, helps every youtuber survive so please do that for us it'll help us thank you until tomorrow bye for now